This is Derek Prince with a word for you from The Word. Take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body. You get the comparison? What the rudder is to the ship, the tongue is to the human body and the human life. You don't have to be a nautical expert to know that the man in charge of the rudder directs the course of the ship. If the right man is in charge of the rudder, the ship will make a safe journey and arrive safely in harbor. But if the wrong man is in charge of the rudder and doesn't know what he's doing, the ship is likely to be wrecked. And that's how it is in your life and in mine. If the right force is in control of our tongues, we'll make a successful journey through life and arrive at our destination safely. But if the wrong force is in control of our tongues, we're likely to make shipwreck. So remember, the way you use your tongue is going to determine the course of your life. Make it a principle to be positive, to express faith and confidence, not doubt and fear, to be honest, not to exaggerate, to speak the truth, and to speak about other people as you would have other people speak about you. Because words are also seeds, and if you sow bitter, critical words, you'll reap them back in due course multiplied in your own life. So remember, be careful how you use that rudder that directs your ship, the rudder that's your tongue. Ask God for His help to use your tongue aright.